Math is a test of discipline, not talent. Discipline. Pure, 100% discipline. There's all kinds of movies out there about math geniuses. You know, there's, there's Good Will Hunting. That's the movie where the janitor is a math genius. There's the movie about Ramanujan, which is a great movie. And Ramanujan, he still scares me a little bit. There's, there's some stuff there that <laughs> I'm not going to go there. He's, he's an exception. But mathematics is about discipline. And, and even Ramanujan obsessed over math. So I think his, his desire for learning math was beyond discipline. So let's, let's not discuss him in this video. But regular people who learn mathematics, who go to college and get degrees, it's discipline. A lot of times people will look at someone who is good at mathematics and they'll say, oh, you're just a math person or you're just naturally gifted at mathematics. When a person hears that, it, it does make them feel good. But you have to realize that you're also, in some sense, diminishing their hard work. Mathematics takes an incredible amount of discipline. It doesn't matter how, how good you are. And if you're watching this video and you have a math degree, whether it be a bachelor's, a master's, or a PhD, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly how hard it is. You know exactly how hard graduate school is. You can't even put it into words. I can't even, I can't even explain to you how hard it is compared to being an undergraduate. There, there's no words for it. Nothing compares. It's about discipline. I mean, it's about hard work. It's not about talent. And in some sense, that statement is freeing. Because many people feel that they're not very good at mathematics. Because they have to work hard. But that's part of it. Right? That, that's part of it. And that's what makes it so great. You know, you're sitting there working on a problem. And you're struggling. And you eventually figure it out. And it makes you feel good. It's rewarding. So the next time you're sitting there thinking... You, know, you, you don't have the math talent, that you don't have the ability, that you, you can't learn. Realize that everyone who has learned math has had to work hard. And if you have friends who say, oh, you know, I don't study, I have a picture memory, you know, those people, I'm sure you know them, the ones that barely study and get good grades. Let me tell you something about those people that will stop for them. It always stops. Everyone gets to a point in mathematics where they have to work hard. Like, it, and that, that point is different for some, for some people. It's out, for me, it was college algebra. That was the first class that I didn't get an A in. I did not understand logarithms. I, I tried my best. I have no regrets because looking back, I gave it 100%. And I could not get it. It was just not my time. No regrets. That's how you have to live your life. No regrets. Give it 100% every single time. Every time. And so that point for different people comes at different times. For some people, it's not until calculus. For some people, it's not until advanced calculus. That's usually the game changer in mathematics. That's, that's where people change their degrees if they haven't already. Once you get through advanced calculus, you feel like a rock star and you're pretty much going to get a math degree at that point. And then comes grad school. And again, you, you can't put it into words. Okay, so it's, it's not about talent. Okay, it's about discipline. It's about consistency and showing up every single day. And that, that is the best way, by the way, to learn mathematics. It's not... To sit here and cram. Cramming works. Cramming is great. I mean, it, it does work. It's, it's, I mean, when you cram, what do you do? You study like crazy for five, six hours. Sure, you're going to learn some stuff. You can learn a lot of math in four hours. Oh, yeah. In, in 10 hours, if you can study for 10 hours and focus, oh, you can learn so much in one day. You can learn a ton of mathematics. The problem is you can't do it the next day. 
and then the next day, and then the next day, and then because you burn out. It's like working out. You can't you can't hit the bench press every single day, you know, 10 sets for 20 reps. You'll break your body. The same thing with mathematics, right? You, you can't do mathematics like that every day without causing some some damage. I mean, there, there's mathematicians. I don't I don't want to get into this because I, I don't know. I don't know the full stories, but there have been mathematicians that they've lost their minds. And I don't know if that was because of mathematics or because they had a pre, I mean, they must have had something there, right? But it's hard. It takes incredible mental efforts. So these mathematicians that work on math every day, day in and day out, it's hard on their minds. It's hard. And these people have built up a tolerance over the years. It's like working out. You don't just jump into the gym and do four hours every day. You, you build up to it. So if you're trying to learn math and you're watching this video, what, what's some advice that you can, you can take with you? Well, start slow. Just like, if you were, just like if you were starting a workout program, right? You know, if you were starting to lift weights, you'd maybe go in there one day, do 10 sets, you know, just keep it light, learn the movements, get your body used to it. Why? So you can be consistent. The same thing is true with mathematics and learning. You want to be consistent. You want to show up every day and do a little bit of mathematics, even just a few problems. Pick a time to do it. I always think the morning is, is the best time to work on mathematics because you can always wake up a little bit extra early and it won't take time out of your day. So for example, let's say you wake up at seven o'clock every day, start waking up at six. Set the alarm. Go to bed a little bit earlier if you need to. Wake up at 6 and then do maybe half an hour of mathematics or, or even up to an hour if you can. But don't, don't overdo it. When you, when you feel yourself starting to fatigue, so when you're, when you're doing math and you're trying to do this, you're trying to do it every day, trying to be consistent, and you feel yourself getting a little bit tired, you know, push a little bit more, but you need to hold back and time, right? Timing how much you do is a way to do that. So you, so you don't spend three hours doing mathematics. So purposely hold back. It's like lifting weights. If you lift to failure every time, you're going to break your body, right? With mathematics, if you push to fail, if you push your mind to failure every day, it's going to break your mind. You're going to burn out. So hold back. And this is not something people talk about. People always talk about, oh, you just got to overdo it. No, no, it sounds good, but you're a human being. You will break. You will break. I have seen people break under the pressure of mathematics. There's this, there's this movie uh, with Val Kilmer, who, who passed away, rest in peace, uh, called Real Genius. And there's a scene in the movie where one of the students, he's, he's studying, and he just gets up and starts screaming. Ah, he just starts screaming. Like, he just starts screaming because he had been studying so much. He just had, like, a mental breakdown. That is an over-exaggeration, right? But, but when you're so focused on what, and your mind is just, it can break you. So even if you don't get to that point, if, if you study a lot every day, it can push you pretty close and it's gonna, you're going to burn out. You'll burn out before you get there. You'll probably just quit and not study math. And you won't be able to study math for days. And you'll, you'll lose your motivation. Then you'll go on the internet and you'll find a video and you'll say, oh, how do I learn math? consistency. It's about discipline, my friends. And professional mathematicians who do research, they work all the time. They work. They still have to do math. They, they work. These people are not lazy. These people have grit. I, I think people don't see that. People look at these professional mathematicians and say, oh, this a genius math person. Yeah, but they're also extremely tough. These people have mental toughness that you have no idea how tough these people are. Mathematicians are tough. They have a mental fortitude that you cannot imagine because you have to have it to study mathematics because it's hard. And when something is hard, the best way to learn it is to be consistent. And that takes discipline. If you take away anything from this video, it should be that it's all about discipline and doing a little bit every day. If you want to learn math, I have courses. Check them out. Links are in the description. They're on Udemy, but use my links. Uh, I have books. Links in the description. My books are priced irrationally. Ebooks are two pi. Paperbacks are four pi. Hardcovers are eight pi. 
I did that just so I could say that in the video. It's, it's just a fun way. It's all about discipline. You don't have to be a math person. You don't have to be a math genius. Do a little bit every day. You will be surprised. Give it a month. If you can actually make it a month doing an hour of math every day, you're going to be a different person. It, it will change your life. Stay strong, my friends.